viewers today we will discuss about the factors responsible or variables of metamorphism along with john great and phases of metamorphism we have already discussed the metamorphism and type of metamorphism now let us see why the metamorphism is important why the studies of metamorphism is important particularly if suppose we see the evolution of the crust along with what are the changes particularly occur during orogeny crustal evolution etc we can see the metamorphism is a important factor and other branches are also directly or indirectly related to metamorphism say for example structural geology is directly related with your metamorphism and normally we can see always the metamorphism and deformation coexist now let us see the second important thing is your geochronology or isotope geology particularly these two are also important and related with your metamorphism because if thermal metamorphism or regional metamorphism then normally these are resets especially for radiometric datings particularly if suppose you'll see the economic point of view then metamorphism is also related with your economic deposits similarly structure petrology geochronology geochemistry along with phase petrology minerals mineralogy all are related to metamorphic petrology and very important is your economic geology in this way the metamorphism is a very important branch of geology which are directly or indirectly related to all other branches now let us take the grade of metamorphism and zone of metamorphism and phases of metamorphism particularly the grade of metamorphism if suppose we'll see the grade of metamorphism it means the two important factors or variables are important particularly in grade of metamorphism it may be low grade or high grade where the pressure as well as temperature both are important in case of low grade metamorphism pressure or temperature must be lower than high grade metamorphism if suppose let us see the example of green cis phases in green cis phases the temperature pressure is lower as compared to amphibolite phases so in this way the grade of metamorphism vary with pressure and temperature now let us see the zone of metamorphism particularly the zone of metamorphism means what are the index minerals present as per the barovian zones or as per the barov if suppose we will see the index minerals they are normally the chlorite biotite garnet starlite kyanite and sillimanite if suppose on the basis of index minerals in case of green cyst we can divide the green cyst phases into three zones and every zone is based on one important index minerals say for examples the chlorite zone biotite zone and element in garnet zone so in this way the zone is also important particularly on the presence and absence of 
index minerals. Now let us see the metamorphic phases. Why the metamorphic phases are important? This part we will discuss later in our next lectures. But I would like to give you some idea particularly the metamorphic phases. Metamorphic phases means whatever rock types present particularly in any area they must be affected with the same PT range although their parent rocks may be different. Now look at in the case of green cis phases. Now see the peltic assemblies, basic assemblages, calcareous assemblages as well as the ultramafic assemblages. All the four assemblages are from different source but whatever mineral present in this phases they are in equilibrium with same PT conditions and belong to same phases and that is the green cis phases, chloride zone of green cis phases. So in this way the zone, grade and phases is important to understand the metamorphic petrology. Here it is time to say goodbye to all of you. Thank you very much.